Google's a little slow this morning. Must be high volume. There we go. Now we're recording. Okay, so you know how we do. I'm going to leave this share. I'm going to leave this screen and call to roll. And when you hear your name, please sound off. <clears throat> okay, Leanne Adams. Here. Ajane Baker. Here. Devin Como. Here. Jamar Hill. Jamar Hill. Jeremiah Hogan. Jeremiah. Ms. Jero. Tyshandra Jero. Devontae Johnson. Devontae Johnson. Breonna Lee. Breonna Lee. Taylor Morris. Here. Asia. Is Asia here? <clears throat> Julia Tippin. Pause. I'm here. Okay. Okay. I see you. All right. Jaden. Jaden Walsh. Darlinda. Here. Okay, folks, so I'm going to, you know, run down the list uh, after we, uh, you know, kind of wrap everything up. All right, so I'm going to put up my share screen. And we're going to cover uh, the assignment related to the African art of the Ife. And I have an assignment that's in the works for that. Art of the Ife, there we go, that's due today. Okay, so this is the assignment due, that's due today. Uh, according to Yoruba religion, Oludamare, the Supreme God ordered Obatala. Now what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just reading uh, what's in the assignment. And this is relative to the God pantheon of the uh, of the Ife people. Uh, the Supreme God ordered Obatala to create the earth, but on his way he found palm wine, which he drank and became intoxicated. Therefore, the younger brother of the latter, Oduduwa, took the three items of creation from him, climbed down from the heavens on a chain and threw a handful of earth on a primordial ocean. Then put a cockerel on it so that it would scatter the earth, thus creating the land on which uh, the Ife would be built. Odudua planted a palm nut in a hole in the newly formed land and from there sprang a great tree with 16 branches a symbolic representation of the clans of the early Ife city-state. The usurpation of creation, usurp means the uh, taking over, by Oduduwa gave rise to the everlasting conflict between him and his older brother, Obatala, which is still reenacted in the modern era by the cult groups of the two clans during the Etapa New Year festival. On account of his creation of the world, Oduduwa became the ancestor of the first divine king of the Yoruba, while Obatala is believed to have created the first Yoruba people out of clay. The meaning of the word Ife in Yoruba is expansion. Le Ife is therefore a, in reference to the myth of the origin of the land of expansion. Okay, so these are some examples of Ife art. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. All of this work is bronze. Now, <clears throat> I have two videos posted in the course resources link. 
and uh, you will be expected to write an essay for this. This isn't due until Monday, okay? Monday of next week, which is the 25th. So uh, you have, uh, I'm gonna give you uh, Friday as a day to review the videos and answer the, and start the process of answering the questions, but the videos are already posted in the course links resources area. So anyway, I'm gonna continue. So uh, these bronze heads are very, very realistic and very proportionally balanced. Uh, if you look closely, when I refer to the proportions, I'm talking about the classical proportions of the human face, where you have a one eye, eye width distance between both eyes, where the eyeball, uh, can you can draw a line directly down to the edge of the face, from the ed, outer edge, of the, from, I mean, from the central eyeball down to the edge of the mouth. And then we have uh, between the, uh, we have the nose position between the ears and the eyes. So these are all classical uh, uh, representations of the human face, okay? And uh, these, these heads are very stylized. They're, they're very uh, accurate in terms of the features of people. They look very familiar to the eye as people. So it's, they're not abstract. So why is this significant? This is significant because the European has always prided themselves, uh, at least until recent history, in being the only population on earth that could master figurative realism. When compared to Africa, they always view the African as primitive and unable to uh, generate uh, relatively realistic looking works of art. And they also assumed that the uh, African did not possess metal technology. So to cast things in bronze is a complex process and it requires the development of a wax mold, the production of a ceramic, I mean, the, the, the development of a wax model, right? The wax model is the wax version of this. And then it has to be invested in a mold, a ceramic mold, and then heat has to be applied to cook out the wax as well as harden the mold. And once the ceramic mold is hardened, from there they have to mine the bronze, smelt it, and then and then uh, separate the impurities from it, and then melt that, and then pour that in the mold. Uh, the European assumed that the uh, the African did not have the ability to make anything realistic out of bronze very very racist bigoted worldview but this is what you know we're working with so the video ife head of a king it, it it these are two 15 minute videos that discuss the discovery of these heads who discovered them and what their initial assumptions were about who made them uh they never wanted to give credit to the african for making these they always wanted to assume that Europeans had visited the place far earlier and that they uh, made these effigies of different Ife kings, which is ridiculous. But anyway, uh, the video covers this and you will be expected to write a five paragraph essay that answers five questions for 100 points. And this will be due at 3 p.m. on Monday. Okay, so let me show you where you can find the video. I have not published the uh, questions yet, but I'm about to. Okay, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna put this in a student view so you can see exactly what this is supposed to look like. And I'm gonna go to my favorite link, which is course resources. And we're going to scroll to the bottom and I'm actually gonna scroll to the middle under videos, we see Ife King, Head of a King Part One and Ife Head of a King Part Two. Both of these videos are 15 minutes in length and uh, they will cover all of the material needed to answer the questions. And it's a lot easier to follow than the uh, Egyptian monuments video. A lot easier to follow. So I'm gonna leave the student view. And uh, yeah, so that's what you all have to do for Monday. Uh, we will not meet on Friday, 
So you have all of today, tomorrow and Friday to view the videos. And then you have over the weekend to craft your essay. So I recommend the first thing you should do before you even uh, start dealing with the questions, just put aside 30 minutes and watch the videos. And you'll get a very clear understanding of what's going on while watching the videos. So from there you can, uh, okay, I see Mr. Hill is joined. So from there, it should be no problem to uh, draft the essay. So once again, that essay is for 100 points. And if uh, anybody's just joining us, uh, let me uh, mark Mr. Hill present right quick, and then I'll continue. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to do one more round. Uh, so I see Jamar is here. Uh, is Tashandra Jaro here? Is Devante Johnson here? Is Brianna Lee here? Is Jaden Walsh here? Okay, folks. So uh, once again, if you're just joining the class, uh, you do have an assignment that is due this Monday at 3 p.m. for 100 points. And it is based on watching the two videos that are posted in the course resources link Ife Head of a King Part 1 and Ife Head of a King Part 2. I would start to play it, but since I'm recording this, uh, it creates a, a conflict when you try to post a YouTube video that already has another YouTube video on it that turns into a copyright violation. Sometimes they catch it, sometimes they don't. So I'm not going to show the video. Uh, you all have to view it at your own time. But uh, once again, it is in the course resources link under the uh, videos. Uh, anybody got any questions? <clears throat> OK, are we sure there are no questions? Oh, you said, uh, can you say the video again? OK, I'm going to actually I'm going to show it to you. Right. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, can you all see my screen? You should be able to see it. I'm going to go to the student view so you can see this the way that it would appear to you. I'm going to, this is the home page. So I'm going to go to course resources. And these are the two videos Ife Head of a King Part One and Ife Head of a King Part Two. Both of these videos are 14 minutes long. So I will put aside 30 minutes today watch both of the videos and the questions should be posted tomorrow. And I will use the announcements link to post the questions uh, as I have in the past. So uh, I, I'm not to post the questions, but to notify you that the assignment is, is live. But in the meantime, watch these videos. Uh, as I mentioned before, we will not meet on Friday. So you have all of today, tomorrow and Friday to view the videos and from there, the, the assignment will be posted and then you can take your time uh, putting together your essay. So the essay should have five paragraphs, okay? Starting off with the introductory paragraph and then you have a three paragraph body and then you have a one paragraph conclusion. So that's classical MLA style. So I will be looking for you all to draft it under those uh, circumstances. Uh, anybody got any more questions? Well, OK, that will uh, conclude today's session. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be done with African art after uh, this particular assignment. And we will have a test uh, the following Friday. OK, so all of that will be posted. So we're going to do the assignment, play the videos. And on uh, Monday, we'll start our review for our test that following weekend. So uh, you all enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, unfortunately, it appears as though the heat has returned, but still try to get yourself some sun. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. 
Thank you. All right, folks, y'all enjoy the rest of your day.